Are people still buying houses here in 2021? Hey, it's Andy with the Mandel team at Remax. If this is your first time to the channel, this is where we go over everything there is to know about South Florida, including the housing market, eating, living, sleeping, playing, and enjoying the beautiful South Florida lifestyle. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and tap that bell icon so you get notified every time we do a new video. We get tons of calls, texts, and emails every single day from people relocating here to South Florida or moving within South Florida, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move to South Florida or within South Florida, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We got your back, and we'd love to be your realtor of choice in South Florida. So let's look at the newest chart that we got here from Showing Time. Showing Time is a company that tracks the number of showings that are going on throughout the country and in some parts of Canada. So what we've done is we fine-tuned the search here in Florida. So as a, as a whole, in Florida, you can see, if you look at the chart, there are about 20% fewer buyers out there looking for homes right now than there were in the first quarter of the year. It really started to go down at the end of May. So June, July, August, we've seen a lot fewer buyers out there looking. Part of that has to do with prices have continued to go up. A lot of buyers got, got buyer fatigue and they're saying, oh, I don't want to deal with this. It's a crazy market. So what we're seeing on the selling end is that we're seeing fewer offers per listing. And it makes sense when you look at, well, if there's 20% fewer buyers, there should probably be 20% fewer offers. So what does this mean for you in the housing market? Prices are still continuing to go up. Homes are still selling with multiple offers. There's just less than there was in, in the beginning half of the year. So January, February, March, the market was just crazy. Absolutely insanity. But if you're a buyer and you've thought about, ah, oh, screw this, no, I'm not gonna be in this market, I'm not gonna participate, a lot of people have done the same thing. This might be your opportunity to do the opposite of what everyone's doing. They say the smart people zig when everyone else zags. Maybe this is a time for you as a buyer to zig. Take advantage of decreased competition. You don't have to go up against 25 different offers. Maybe they're only getting two, three, or four, and you don't have to be as crazy and competitive as you did a couple months ago. As a seller, make sure you're pricing your property correctly. The, the stats don't lie. There are fewer buyers out looking for properties right now than there was six months ago. So make sure we're not pricing our properties like it's January of 2021. It's not the same market, you gotta be competitive, make sure you are realistic in this market. If you have any questions on the housing market here in South Florida, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to be your realtor of choice here in South Florida.